You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Hey everybody, how's it going? Joe Findlay here. Absent today is Todd Tebow the Sailor Murray. Uh, he schedules just wouldn't allow. It's not a beef. It's all good. Trust me. It's fine. Actually, he's here right now. He's not allowed to speak and it's strictly sexual as to why. And we're not going to go into any further explanations about it. Okay? Thank you. Lots to talk about today. Counting down now. We are now under a week until I will have seen Avengers Infinity War. Very much looking forward to it. Got tickets for the 1035 show on Thursday. Waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning for work. So if you do that math, it's a two and a half hour movie. I get home by the time we get out and I get home. It's about 1.30 in the morning. Waking up at 4 for work. Uh, yes, and those are the ones I definitely don't call in sick for because I like the accomplishment of the no sleep and all that, and I've been doing that like crazy lately. I was on an hour sleep yesterday, and I felt like a goddamn Viking, but that's only a little bit of what I want to talk about today. Uh, we have an interesting movie schedule coming up for you. We got two movies in a row, so it's not going to be it's a mini-episode movie, mini-episode movie. You got this mini-episode then you got a movie next week, and then, God damn it, you got a movie the week after that. Uh, there is a good reason for both of those, and the only way to explain it is to tell you what we're watching. Uh, so next week, tune in. We're going to be watching an underdog's classic, 1984's The Karate Kid. And let's take a listen to the trailer. This is it. This is the end of the line. Tell him me. Did I tell you about the pool here? For Daniel LaRusso... Is this the only pool you guys got? The future seemed far from terrific. This place is a dump. You should go back to New Jersey. Hey, I know it's hard, but... We're not quitters, are we? Until I... he met the hey, right girl. She's beautiful. I say she's beautiful. I think she's beautiful. Is that your address? <laughs> you got it. But that only angered the wrong guy. <laughs> Definitely. You gotta be nuts. And his troubles really began. You have to push it. Like a Then, in one man, he found a teacher. I promise to teach karate. And a friend. Fighting always last answer. Power, whole body. Make a perfect picture. How do I know if my picture's the right one? If come from inside of you, always right on. Lesson about the balance, not just karate, a lesson for all life. Why train? So I won't have to fight. Hey, karate kid, let's take a move. <laughs> no points or no points, you're dead meat. I don't have much of a cheering section. You got me. In the end, it will be in Daniel's hands. In his body. And most of all, in his mind. Concentrate, focus, power. Remember, balance. No mercy. Columbia Pictures presents The Karate Kid. Hey, what kind of belt do you have? GC Penny 398. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's our first movie, The Karate Kid. Uh, the reason we might do something like this, well, one, oh, it's an awesome movie, and it's about goddamn time that we did it, but two, it actually lines up with the release of Cobra Kai, which is going to be coming out on May the 2nd. And so we've got that to look forward to. Uh, obviously, this is going to be out before May 2nd. It's going to be out April 27th is next week's movie. Uh, but hey, not every date can line up. But sometimes they can. And that's what we got coming up for you the following week, which is why we're not doing a mini-sode, because what's the Friday after April 27th? May the 4th, friends. May the 4th be with you. It is that time again. We are coming back at you with The Empire Strikes Back. Luke Skywalker and Han Solo rescued the princess, destroyed the Death Star, but their story didn't end there. Creators of the biggest smash hit of all time bring you the next episode in the Star Wars saga, The Empire Strikes Back. Look 
continuing story of our band of heroes. Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, C-3PO, R2-D2, and Chewbacca. And introducing Lando Calrissian. It's an epic of romance. Of heroes and villains. They cross trackless voids to unknown worlds. Odyssey against oppression. A big new sprawling space adventure in the Star Wars saga The Empire Strikes Back. Coming to your galaxy next summer. There it is. Are you not excited, my friends? Huh? And yeah, to those uh, really good listeners out there, that was the voice of Harrison Ford on Solo himself doing the trailer, uh, just acting it up a little bit. I really hate the hole we put ourselves in for uh, only doing one Star Wars movie a year, but that means that we have to be here at least. We're doing every goddamn one of them, so by then, I, as long as they keep making them, we'll never be able to end the show, so that's, uh, I don't know, a blessing or a curse. We'll find out. But yeah, what else do we want to talk about today? I mean, we got two great movies. I don't have anybody to banter with, so this is not going to last very long, but uh, just a few, you know, odds and ends to talk about. Uh, they announced the... Uh, Return of Glow is going to be at the end of June. Uh, great video online right now if you uh, look it up. I think it's directly on Netflix, but you can find it anywhere. It's uh, all the girls lip syncing to Maniac, and that's how they did the announcement for that. It was really it was a fun video, and I'm excited for that. It was a really good show last uh, season, and hopefully it continues. But yeah, it was quite good. And uh, to people who complained there wasn't enough wrestling last year, uh, I've been, I've read that there's actually quite a bit more wrestling in this one, which makes sense now that their first show's done. They, it's all shows, I would imagine. But then anybody who complained that, well, I don't like wrestling, my wife doesn't want to watch it because she doesn't like wrestling. Well, this is, you know, from the makers of Orange is the New Black and all that stuff. Uh, they make a lot of good content and this is no different. It's a really good program and the women all in it together are just fantastic. Mark Marin is hilarious in it. Liking wrestling is not a prerequisite for this movie or this show. So uh, yeah, go check it out. And speaking quickly of wrestling, I just read today actually that uh, Bruno San Martino died. Uh, he's an old wrestling legend as it were. I mean, uh, not the biggest impact on me as a person, but we do have a lot of listeners who are wrestling fans and the like, and we just did some wrestling talk last uh, last week on our Miscast TV show, which we'll talk about in just a second. But uh, yeah, so he passed, and that was very sad. Also, who just passed um, last night as I record this, uh, Barbara Bush died. And politics aside, you know... You don't have to agree with somebody's politics to think it's sad when they pass on. I don't really know what her specific politics were, but I imagine she kind of sat along the lines with her husband. Yeah, it's very sad. She died in 92, which, I mean, it's not sad that she was 92 when she died. It's a nice full life. She was married, I think they said she was 73 years, her and George were married. That's, you know, something to revere. It's, uh, yeah, anyways, I just thought it was worth mentioning, uh, so... You know, condolences to everybody affected by that. And we'll get off the bummer news now. And we talk about something I just mentioned is Miscast TV. Uh, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, we have launched our, our second YouTube channel, actually, because we do have a Miscast Commentary YouTube channel. But now go find yourself some Miscast TV. Just search it on YouTube and you'll find videos. Uh, Todd and I have done some sketches. We do some sit down and chat. We got some green screen going on. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We do a little bit of improv. Uh, the most recent one we did, we did some wrestling talk. Todd 
reviewed WrestleMania, and then we ended up cutting promos as characters who wrestle in a le- in a wrestling league that takes place exclusively inside a daycare. Uh, so yeah, go check that out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we would love anybody subscribing, liking, commenting, all the, all those things that you're supposed to do that make us happy, right? That show that we're getting our due attention. So yeah, check us out on there. Uh, we're going to keep it going. There is going to be a steady mix of sketches and talk and sketches and talk. Uh, probably a little bit more talk just because it's a little bit easier to do. Not a lot of editing involved and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we try to keep it, you know, off the cuff and we try to keep it all in. We don't really feel, we don't really censor ourselves all that much, uh, in that format. But, uh, yeah, check all that stuff out. And as always, our, all of our episodes, of this are available on YouTube as well of miscast commentary. So you can go find those on there as well as some behind the scenes videos that we've posted along the way. So subscribe to both of those, watch them all the time. If you don't really want to watch them all the time, just have them running in a constant loop, just set our playlist going and then leave the house. I don't care. As long as you have unlimited data, I'm not trying to cost you guys money. Um, you know, this is all free. So, well, free for you guys, but for now, really, that's all I got. So as always, I say it every time. Find us on miscastcommentary.com. Find us on Twitter at Miscast Podcast. I'm at JK Findlay. Todd's at Miscast Todd. Uh, you can also find our Miscast TV page at Miscast TV. So go check all that stuff out. Let's get some followers. Let's get some likes. Let's get some subscribers. Let's get some, I don't know. What's the most digital way you can show love without the eggplant emoji? That's the real question. So... You guys figure that out, send it along to us, we'll send our love back through you through these mics with our velvety goddamn throats. Is that what my my voice sounds like? I think it sounds like a garbage heap, but other people don't always agree. So, love to hear about that. Uh, Email us at uh, podcast.miscastcommentary.com. So for now, dear friends, this is Joe Finley saying, see you next week, Karate Kid, see you the week after that. Star Wars, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Yoda's in it. How bad could it be, right? Well, and by the way, how bad could it be? It's arguably the best Star Wars movie of all of them. So, you got that going, too. So, we'll see you guys over the next two weeks. Enjoy them. And then Todd and I will be back with you with a mini-episode the week after May the 4th. That'd be May the 11th. May the 11th be with you. (laughs) Bye-bye. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.